therefore, to make it more impersonal, therefore, is, the, is what is going to happen increasingly in order to make up for the lack of motivation. So you increase and improve the arsenal that is provided to them that can cause greater havoc. Get my point? So this is what is happening. So what do we do? What is art? I mean, as a civil liberty person, what do I do? I mean, here is a reality of what that is taking place in this place. There is a reality that the law is crafted and has been crafted in such a manner that anyone who uh, falls foul of it uh, is like triple felony in California, I'm told, where if you have three hits, three strikes, three strikes, and, three strikes and you're gone. Yeah. So it's something like that in India. It's this situation that we are confronted with, where there is no equality before law. There are laws that are, they have created crimes and delegitimized activities for a vast section of population. There are issues that are dying to be, to, to be addressed, which are not being addressed. I mean, the new government has declared that it is going to be committed to opening up of the forest area. They are going to encourage, yes, the difference between the UP and NDA comes in here. In comparison, and only in relative terms, by the way, I'm not talking in absolute terms, only in relative terms, this is a much more national bourgeois or capitalist oriented, you know, the, 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 the attractiveness of the national bourgeoisie which, which attracted the, the Marxist and left at one time, it's this national capitalist that is being backed by the BJP and the right wing today. And if you look at their policy at different levels, for instance, the defense industries, the insurance, you see how they are moving ahead. While they're opening, they're also protecting the interests of the national capital, and especially in the defense sector, and which, by the way, ties up with what I began, Israel, as being bankrolled by India. Because, uh, I mean, apart from the United States backing for Israel, it is the Indian uh, arms purchase which subsidizes Israel's arms lobby which has played an extremely important role. And today, with the new change in defense industrial policy under the NDA, the public-private partnership model, which would encourage even 100% uh, owned foreign uh, companies, and it is primarily aimed at attracting Israeli armament units for large-scale production for Indian units. Um, uh, but, but that's a different thing. The point I'm trying to make is that it's in these situations of these, I mean, it's the gravity of the problem that confronts us. If you look at it carefully, you discover that there are so many dimensions to it. There are so many aspects that it brings out. And there are so many issues that it is trying for us to address. That it, it's impossible for us to turn our back into these armed conflicts that are going on and not look at the politics behind it, look at the issues that they are trying to suppress in the name of by demonizing it and by characterizing it as a law and order problem or police action or fighting terrorists, etc., etc., and encouraging us to divert our attention from the real issues into side, into side issues. I'll end here because I think I've spoken for longer than uh, uh, Dipankar, but I'm, uh, I apologize for that. But I thought that I'll at least like to uh, sum up, bring, bring my, uh, my uh, presentation, uh, make my presentation in such a way that I cover the major areas and then open it up for discussion. Thank you very much for listening to me. And if I can just have a glass of water, or if you can tell me oh, that I can have yeah, just Sorry, the, I interrupted you. You had a question. So I just said uh, the yeah. class aspect to the yeah. recruitment because yeah. uh, on one hand there are always the stampedes at these army recruitment rallies. No on the other hand, army does not have oh, enough yeah. officers oh, because yeah. kids who go to college or come from middle class families, they are not applying to... Just give me a minute.